but must never make the mistake of assuming that there may not be another god or another goddess next door that may be a little stronger than he or she. We feel that Satanism is a religion of life rather than death. I can't understand why some of our detractors seem so impelled or compelled to establish Satanism as a religion of death because nothing could be further from the truth. Satanism believes that we should live this life to the fullest, get every drop of enjoyment from this life. We believe this is the best of all known possible worlds, and if there is a better one, then it will be Satanists or satanically inspired scientists who find it. And uh, we feel that life is the great indulgence, and death is the great abstinence. I've made this very clear in the Satanic Bible, and yet there are still many who will say Satanism is death worship. So you might say this is a gateway to new and more vigorous life for the individual who might be struggling under the burden of depression. The greatest misconception about Satanists is the human sacrifice thing. They seem to overlook the fact that a curse can be thrown without any blood being shed on the part of the magician and uh, or a victim that the magician would choose. The Satanist accepts human life as a very precious thing, albeit wasted on some individuals. And we feel that there is nothing inherently wrong with anyone who just lives and allows others to live according to their own dictates. But nevertheless, curses have to be thrown. A curse is a symbolic act. This means that it gives vent to one's anger, one's emotions, and if it is directed properly towards the victim, the victim then suffers accordingly. This is the power of ceremonial magic.